Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to After Party! Okay, so this is the final episode needed to get caught back up to where I was in real time with this game. After we get through this episode, everything from here on out will be new to me. Everything has been new for you, but... You know, since I had to replay it and all that... There is one thing I want to do a little bit differently here. Because the first time I played this, going upstairs here, I was not able to get back down after going up. So... I think here... Wait, which one was it? Because they say I need to go to Skull. Which is... up there, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do distinctly recollect not taking the elevator last time. So I'm going to take the elevator this time. That's the only thing I'm going to do different. Unless it was the other way around. Ah, fuck. It was the other way around, wasn't it? No. Shit. Oh, god damn it. Nope, this feels familiar. This is what I did last time. I did take the elevator, and I skipped out on the other part. That's right, that's right. I'm a fool. Yep, goddammit, that's exactly what I did. Ugh. I was trying to, like, do the opposite of what I did last time so that I could get new content, and instead, I did the exact same thing anyways. <laughs> oh well. Guess what, what I get for trying to be different. Maybe that's a sign I work too much. I can't even remember what might be in here. I did I mean, a couple weeks it ago. looks crazy. crazy. Skull. Sounds promising, eh? Yeah, yeah, very promising. This is where he is. Let's just go. Oh yeah, I forgot. Those two people out there that like just came, went out as we came in, they uh, they talk like pirates when you talk to them. I think they might be pirates, like actual like swashbuckling. Oh, so you're gonna tell me you weren't dancing with him, huh? The guy was all century over you. Pirates. Okay, that guy didn't even have a head, so. He, like, barely counts, biologically speaking. This place looks like a real meat market. But, uh, the meat is what? still... What? I can't hear you over the music. Yeah, but this place is a real meat market, though, right? If, if meat was spelled... Let's just find Asmodeus. Maybe he's on the dance floor. Yeah, uh, it's spelled like the, like the food. Yeah, yeah, right, right. God, I hate places like this. I don't know what it is, but it's just, like... This, I work three hours today, so I deserve to get coked up and dance while Chinese laborers make my new smartphone. Like, why don't you take that time and give something back? The world's crumbling to dust, and you just want to freak on some guy? Yeah, no, it always feels a little decadent, uh, a little selfish. A little like buying the lemon-scented dish soap when the plain one is on sale. <laughs> two reparias for two lovebirds. Oh, we're not lovers. I treat her more like a mannequin. I built it to me. And he looks like my dad, so I get to work out my more wholesome fantasies. Sounds good, kids. Have fun. Hey, kids, what'll it be? Okay, so... <laughs> we have some interesting ones here. We have the lookout behind you. It has liquid courage, the eyes of a coveter, equal parts gin, drool, and a growing sense of unease. We have Bluebeard's last wife. Makes you talk like a pirate captain. Rum and spinal fluid. Wrongly named after Bluebeard, who wasn't a pirate. Then we have the red perilla. Liquid courage. Electrified. Non-Newtonian fluid. Coconut liquor. Chilled for ten years. And then finally we have literally acid, which makes you a club killer. Acid. Literally acid. It's acid. You're drinking acid. And that's the one I chose last time. I remember that, because that definitely stood out. Probably regret this, but I'll have a literally acid. The drink of choice for drugged out socializers, except no acid substitutes. From at the color green. Uh, 
I like how their social media network is called Bicker. <laughs> try not to drink and dance. It's a pain to clean up the floor. We will try, but no promises there. Okay, so now we gotta find a way to do something. I think Asmodeus is upstairs. They can say Asmodeus all they want, but I'm pretty sure it's Asmodeus. But I could also be wrong, who knows. No, wait a minute. I think he was downstairs. We do go up, we do end up going up here. Literally, I made the mistake of thinking there would be different drinks at this bar. They're not. It's literally the same thing. And then I sat down and I had and I had to like re-get the drink. I'm not doing it that I'm not doing that this time though, because doing that would require uh, me having to edit it out because it's stupid and pointless and I don't want to have to do any editing because it's easier if I can just slap the audio on it and call it a day. So, <laughs> yeah, I continue to fill in dead air as we make our way down because I went up first like an idiot. Alright, Asmodeus, Asmodeus, Mo Moldy Avocado, whatever the fuck his name is. He's around here somewhere. Hi, is that... can we, uh... This is the VIP section. You'll notice by the fact you can't enter. Can't we just pop in for a minute? Every second you sit there would depreciate the seat's value. Well, that's... it's hard to argue with, really. It's rude, is what, what it is. Asmodeus, seriously, I'll take whatever opportunity you got. <laughs> Baleo! We know you have a stash of Pujari teeth, Al. You... who well, you designed the lava pit the cartel burns in! Now, you've been having a rough time of it recently. We know, but... <laughs> I'm on leave! So it's not my job anymore! Look up staycation, that's... that's what it... You'll see a picture of me. This is it! Hey, that's the big guy. The monarch, Asmodeus. Let's follow him. Make, uh, make friends with him, not them. On leave? What are you, fucking Swedish? I need drugs! My husband doesn't know he can't fix the toaster! Then I need to get high enough to pretend he can! Get a divorce, then. Or a drink! That's where I'm going. Father Drack makes a great term gate shake. You should have one. Hey, y'all, we're here at Club Skull, and we're going to make sure to keep it bumping all oh, that's night. Right. We had to I do said this all night regardless. long. What will it be? The literally acid again. Yeah, it's uh, and remember, whatever the literally acid is. It's, it's more metaphorical. Sign up with me, but Mama, also, right here yeah. at the DJ booth. I'm not allowed to leave. I don't even have legs, really. So feel free to come by anytime. <laughs> that DJ in the background saying that shit is hilarious for filling in that little bit of dead air that we just had right there. Hey, Uncle Al, how's the vacation been? Great, great. I've been, you know, I hate the phrase, taking a little me time. But I guess it's better than saying I've been just dicking around, missing the life I used to have. Cool, cool. What do you want to drink? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, know how to make a Marburg sour? Don't have the blood samples. Hey, Uncle Al. It's really nice to meet you, man. I love the... You got a great... You got a great vibe. I really prefer it to the, uh, Hornets in my tea version of hell we've grown accustomed to. <laughs> Thanks. I like me, too. I mean, I should. I have to live with myself. Hey, Uncle Al! The alligator! The ass wagon! You got, like, ten hours? I'm taking a bath on a timeshare and need to vent at someone taller than me! Uh, maybe. Just don't get too pissed if I stop you after ten minutes. Actually, why didn't I see you at Salsa Dancing last Wednesday? Hey, brother man, have a seat. Rap with us. Name's Milo. It's yours. Zipar, I eat people who write unwarranted bad reviews for local businesses. <laughs> Milo? Uh, when he's drunk on literally acid, the, uh, the club killer vibe that he gets from the dialogue, he sounds like Jeff from American Dad. <laughs> right about it, you, uh, Al. But first off, I'm Lola, he's Milo, and we're doing the whole challenge Satan to a drinking contest to escape hell thing, and we really yeah, need- Yeah, 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 you can stop right there. Cause you don't really need anything now, do you? Cause you're in hell. Which means you're dead. 
And you got of a fast talker, and fast talkers spread anxiety like termites. So do me a favor and slow boat it a bit. It's funny because I have anxiety, but I'm also a fast talker. <laughs> Seems a little redundant, doesn't it? Yeah, get out of the fucking carpool lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just hang out. Put your feet up. Yeah, completely. I read you, dude. Anxiety is just chemicals we evolved past when we invented, like, mittens, man. Ugh, I don't know. Some of the mittens down here can really fuck you up. No, wait, no. We, the only reason we're here is to get- yeah, Morningstar already texted me, Squirt. I know you want my seal for the contest. Oh. Father Trek, two shots of permanent vacation. You wanna, you wanna have a drink off right now? Permanent vacation. Cause I was kinda hoping you'd just make us like clean your gutters That's or something. That's a great name for a drink. Frangio Banis. We're breaking bread, Lola. Come on, do a shot with me. Let's get to know each other a little. Get those wrinkles off your face. We don't need therapy, Mr. Asmodeus. We just need you to stamp our permission slips. Uh, I disagree. Let's agree to disagree. I really insist. <laughs> yeah, Lola, get with the vibe. If you kinda tilt your head a certain way, we kind of are on vacation. Hey, your friend's having fun already. Fine, fine, I'll take the stupid shot if you really fucking think it's so important. I love listening to him talk like Jeff. <laughs> When a man drinks, he becomes rich. He wins lawsuits, and he is happy to help his friends. Let's focus on the last part. Gulpity gulp gulp. Ah, there you go. Oh, nice. shit, I feel... This is weird. Is this what lazy people feel like? Because this is awesome. It's like I'm walking on a shag carpet in my bare feet, but I'm not. Hey, Al. Some folks wanted to know if you can make the death day announcements. Yeah, I'll be the mall Easter Bunny. Hey, kids, why don't you two tag along? It won't take long. Not that many people here died this month. Hey, you just lead the way, bro. You walk, we'll roll. Yeah, chill out, Milo. Fucking Christ, you'll burn calories. See your friends on holiday time. You should set your watch there, too. You're trying to outdrink Satan, right? Well, you can dream a dream in time gone by. That shit ain't happening. Why not? Because trying to outtrick a guy going through a breakup is harder than waking up happy. Satan's going through a breakup? With God? Yeah. But also with the lie that life means anything. That shit happened like a hundred millennia ago. And it's still in his head. Man, you know, that's a really interesting philosophy. A little Zeno? A, a, little, a little Buster Keaton? No. Buster believed in life. He just knew the house would miss him. Those Lucifer look at these days anyway. He's still up on Welkin Way? Oh yeah, big place. Makes Xanadu look like a bouncy castle. And man, this drink is a trip. I finally see how boring soup kitchens are now. Uh, what the hell? all of us. The original monarchs. We all used to live up there. I don't know if you know. Satan and me, yeah, we're still buddies. But the others, eh, yeah, even Bed Bath & Beyond coupons don't. Don't let anyone tell you that they don't. Not, not chill enough for you guys? Was he harsh in your mill? How many death days tonight? Just a few. Don't do the carbon monoxide poisoning. He's not quite over it yet. Okay, uh, Al, can we just get your signature on this? Uh... And you know another thing about Satan? He really... He was my life rat when my wife Beth left me. He took me out, wouldn't let me get too down. It was a huge help. Oh, whoa, that shot's wearing off. I feel like I just walked off a plane from Cancun and realized I live in Cleveland. Here, you can have my drink. Hey, party demons! We have a very special death day tonight. Grog Boulderat. Eaten by a dinosaur 30 million years ago! <laughs> Why are and they yes, cheering people, for how these dinosaurs people die? did exist with humans. Don't believe everything scientists tell you. Asmodeus, uh, about, about that seal? Yeah, my witch doctor slash therapist thinks I'm just burying my pain at Beth leaving by partying all the time. That I'm just perpetuating an endless cycle of self-destruction, ignoring my real trauma. But she still wears Robinson's mane. So what does she know? Let's have a drink, Milo. Come on. For Grog, Lola did Hotel Hell. How about you try my own personal cocktail? The unapologetic. Good for what ails you. Um, maybe? 
Don't overdo it, bro. We don't know what that drink is made of. Well, your drink made you think you were sailing in the Bahamas, so come on, it'll be okay. Our lost boy's gonna do it. Yeah, but hers was That's a different drink. That's what I like drink. to see. Hers was called Hotel Hell. His is called the Unapologetic. Milo, are you, uh, okay? What the fuck shit happened? What a strange occurrence. Milo and Lola? Meet Milo's conscience. Milo's conscience? Meet Milo and Lola. Charmed. Yeah. This ugly fucking loser is my conscience? Uh, is, is Milo, is he, is he gonna be okay? He's better than okay. A conscience. It's just what happens to your ego if it watches too many kids shows with puppets. <laughs> it's, it's radiation growing tumors. Yeah. We've just made Milo healthy again. Without restraint or fear or societal hang-ups. Like putting the seat down just because your wife can't find the light switch at night. What is happy? Get a drink and find out, you little scamp. How can one be happy if others suffer? Instinct pursues procreation, which yet brings more suffering. Oh boy. Hey, sailor. You look like you blew in on a stiff breeze. Wanna buy me a drink? I listened to some guy pitch me a timeshare and got his VIP seats. As long as you are... are comfortable with the proffer, I... I think I would very much enjoy that, yes. Wait, this little fucking nerd gets picked up like that? I've tried standing around before, it doesn't work. Hey, Milo, look at that little guy, go. I guess without all your deep-seated self-loathing, you'd be more successful, romantically speaking. Oh, give me a break. Once he opens up to her about his owl fetish, her legs will close up real quick. <laughs> Good God. All right, kiddos, there's a dance competition that needs tending to downstairs. Wait, what? What about us having a drinking contest for the seal? Hey, I'm a busy party demon. You're fortunate to have stolen five minutes of party time. But look, I'll tell you what. How about instead, you enter the dance-off? If you win, I'll give you my seal. It's more fun than drinking. That's what Satan doesn't know. Dancing doesn't scare away your friends. Hey, come on, bro. Can't you just, like, be cool? <laughs> be like, super chill and give us a seal now. Please. This guy's just stringing us along, using us as temporary friends. So he doesn't have to wallow in the sadness of divorced, middle-aged, single loser life. Ouch. You say tomato, I say... Well, actually, I say tomato, too. Nobody really says tomato. Fuck. We need to get his wife, Beth, here. It's obvious he's covering old wounds. He's like me after Pilates. If we can, if we can get them back together, he'll surely give us the... <laughs> fuck that and <coughs> fuck him and fuck her and fuck you, Lola. If you think I'm gonna help some fat demon get laid tonight, let's just beat his ass in the dancing competition. Make him surrender the damn seal with our fucking puma legs. What the hell are you talking about? I don't want to help others. I had the hardest time getting girls on Earth. And now you want me to be some marriage counselor to one of Satan's drop testicles? Okay, fine, American psycho. We'll do the damn dance off. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, motherfucker. That's when he's gonna regret poking the beehive, man. This is brilliant. This is not good. God, Lola, you should get a shot of this. Seriously, it's it'll really melt all your stupid insecurities into the fucking toilet. I'm not doing it. One of us needs to worry about stains on their pants. No with stains. I'm talking about trying to... Humans are bungled and botched hordes, Lola. I'm really seeing that now. The trivial majority that... that plague superior men with. Like that chick in that play. Why did I want to date that girl? It's a... it's a slave morality. Lashing yourself to this idea of romantic ideals. Oh, my lord, will you shut the hell up? You sound like my guidance counselor after his four o'clock coffee. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're half yourself when you're with somebody. It's just... that's yeah. just math. You know, Beth left Asmodeus, a freaking loser, for her job. And that's what you gotta do. Make something other than dumb memories or idiot children. Marriage with kids is just future alimony and burning a 70-year-old's life's worth of natural resources. It's downright immoral. Abstinence and selfishness. That, that leads to success. 
Milo, I might agree with this pessimistic worldview. God knows I love a downer conversation. But when you say it so forcefully, it's a pretty big turnoff. Well, sometimes the truth needs to be spoken with effort. Oh, what evil bureaucrat said that, huh? Judge Doom? So just so you know, I totally went with the dance competition in the original playthrough, the original recording, so that's why I'm doing it again this time. And also, and so here was my reasoning and justification that time, um, and I'll tell you now. It's because Sam told us not to help anyone. You cannot help anyone. The game has been kind of like hinting and considering the consequences of the last time we helped someone. The game has been hinting towards, you know, not helping people and just doing things to help ourselves succeed. Thus, dance competition. Will we pay for this ultimately in the end? Could they do a big rug pull? Probably, possibly, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyways, it's about the journey, right? All right, let's... Uh... Speaking of which, actually, it's so funny. I binge watch shows all the time too. <laughs> I didn't know anybody else used that term, binge. <laughs> it's so naughty. Well, I don't know about that. It's just a poetically accurate phrase for consuming entertainment at an unsustainable rate. Hey! Yes? Let me in there. Are you on the list, sir? Because if you want, I'll have to ask you to leave the immediate area. I'm better than you. I'm a human being with organs to breathe and eat cheese with. What the hell do you have? A, a carapace or... Actually, what are you things made of? What can I say, man? Your morality thermometer just likes me better. He doesn't like you better. He's just young and stupid and is attracted to wounded souls. I do. Ouch. I guess I do have a, a type. Hey, that's my conscience you're talking about. That little moron's perfect, like me. Just shush. We'll find another way around. All right. There's, this is a very fucking painful way to do it, but since we're in hell and can't die... Also, you have to be drunk to accomplish this. Ooh, that little. The bouncer thinks he got the best of me. Of us. But he's got another thing coming. I can see straight down on that asshole's head from here. Great. How does that help us? It, it doesn't. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe if you were drunker, you'd get an idea. I already have all the best ideas, like a pair of jeans you can exercise in. Well, actually a good one. So we do have to go get a drink for this part, and we're going to get some li something with liquid courage Want to reload? because it makes a lot of sense for what's about to happen, actually. <clears throat> so we're going to go with the red perilla. Uh, uh, uh blue, uh, I mean, red perilla. Indie devil, huh? Nice handle. All right, come on, come on, come on. Take too long to make these damn drinks. Enjoy yourself. I will try. Because what I'm about to do is going to hurt. But at least I'll be drunk, so I won't feel it too much. Ooh, that little. The bouncer thinks he got the best of me. Of us. But he's got another thing coming. I can see straight down on that asshole's head from here. Great. How does that help us? Like this. I'm a living symbol of triumph! Milo, ah! what the fuck are you- Cheese and rice, are you kidding me? You really shattered your pelvis just to get your dull-faced insecurities back? That was really unsafe, Milo. Get the- Give me a- Give me a- Give me a minute here. Sure. Conscience, you little dweeb. I hate how you think, and I hate how you dress, but we got a dance competition to win. Do we? Will it help the general populace or just ourselves? Um, everyone. Fine, fine. I'm not gonna embarrass you, Milo. I'm not going to drag this little mistake of evolution into the sewers with me and turn him into a real man. Even though I could, I'm just gonna give you this one. You know why I'm giving you this one? Because things... <laughs> Weird. Ha! <laughs> he landed on her. Yeah! <laughs> That was funny shit! Good idea, mate! I don't know why nobody thought to do that before! Permission to come aboard! 
I like how Milo shattered his pelvis in that fall, and yet Why? he's Are you, still you about right? to win a dance competition. Well, it was fun while it lasted, thinking I was awesome. You are awesome, Milo. You don't need to be uninhibited by all social laws to feel it. Okay? Aww. You're due at the dance floor. Don't be late. It'll leave any weapons with coat check. Guess. Okay. Guess it's time. Wish I could get a few minutes to just, like, lie down for a second. God, I was really passionate about love being a total crock, huh? Yeah, whatever. We can psychoanalyze your spirit quest later. You gotta dance your face off right now. We'll Honestly. be there, not dancing, wouldn't be clear about that, but very much cheering you on. Alright, let's... let's do it. I did make one little mistake, I forgot to go talk to the DJ and tell her that I wanted to participate in the dance competition. Because before, that's why I thought I got that text, it was like, I figured I had to go find something to do. But anyways, yeah, so, uh, she shouldn't even Just know... Just a little 411 for y'all, the Syrian Queen hasn't come in tonight. She usually hangs out with the Bourbon Kings in Poopy Pants Land, formerly known as Schittsburg, before those evil toddlers took over. Wow. Evil toddlers. I'm here to check in for the, uh, the dance competition. You seem a little different. Not that I'm complaining, believe me. See, you seem a little different. See, the game expected us to talk to her first, and I completely forgot. God damn it, because she you're supposed to talk to her while Milo is uninhibited, and he's being a dick, and yeah. Gah, I'm so sorry. I completely missed out on that. But uh, anyways, you get the point. You talk to her at some point, and you're like, Hey, we're gonna do the dance thing. And she's like, wow, that guy's an asshole. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Who's he up against? Asmodeus. Who else? Ready when you are, kid. Ugh, whatever. You can take him, Milo. You, you got your mojo back. Think of Stella and her myriad grooves. Just please proceed to the dance floor when ready. All right, here we go. This hey is an easy, quick time got, event. I said we got some gladiators in the ring, y'all. It's basically a Simon Says deal. Are you guys ready for the, the, the Nightly Skull Dance Competition? In this corner, we got a little-known angel of mercy we like to call Asmodeus. Save me some chili cheese fries, okay? And in that corner, we got a sack of potato skins his mama liked to call Sang Bomb. Hey, I'm, aren't we all just here to, to have fun? Light seeking light doth light of light beguile. You know what that means? It means you can't learn anything in books. You gotta live life. Really live it. I'm not sure. Live that's it till you leave death nothing but a corpse. So I hope you do okay here tonight. I really do. Because I think you got a lot left in the tank. Alright. Save your energy. Just believe you me, you're gonna need it. For the for the dancing. Just in case that wasn't clear. Okay, gentlemen dancers, this is how it works. You, Milo, copy Asmodeus' moves as best you can. All, All right, right gentlemen, go. start your screwing! I nailed this the first time, so hopefully I don't I fuck mean, it dancing, up this time. shit, I forgot which contest I was at for a second. This move I call the very rich hours of the Duke of Bell. Turn, Milo. As long as the needle stays mostly towards me by the end, Ixian it's precipitated good. in the underworld. Make way for Asmodeus! Hey, good. Good job. I really like the V. Copy that if you can. That was easy. Watch and study and maybe learn a little, kid. Hey, you're better than you think. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed if you can't keep up. 
Ooh, nice try. That wasn't my fault. That was uh, legitimately lag. Pinch. That was legitimately lag. I know you guys saw it too. Okay, slow down, kid. And that's it. I make it look pretty easy, oh. right? Oh, no, no. Yeah, good one, guy. I Nothing forgot. 400 years of dance lessons can't teach. Uh, yeah, you're, you're uh, doing well. Just do what I just did. Try not to break anything. It ain't hard if you're watching the legwork. And I won with the needle all and the way in my direction. Where is Milo! Milo, holy shit! Right? I know! Wow, that was... That was something. Great dancing, kid. One in a million. I'm really impressed. I, I, I gotta say, you... You really, you... Hey, you did well too, Al. You just didn't know what he was up against. A guy that's crapped his pants three non-consecutive times at the public pool. Yes, sirree, Bob. So, how about it? Yeah, you did good out there, kid. You earned it. Here's my official seal of approval. Text nice. me if you ever want to hang out. Yeah, no, never. <laughs> but thanks. Yeah, no, never, <laughs> she says. All right. Yeah. We did the thing. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. We did the thing. I'm sorry. I like the beat. <laughs> Oh shit, this game has a great soundtrack too. Great soundtrack. Been a lot of memorable soundtracks in 2019 games. Alright, now let's leave here, go back out into the city, and uh... So, uh, shit got a little crazy after that, uh... After Asmodeus' drink, huh? Seriously, you were going like Paul after he snorted all those boner pills. Do you, um, remember any of it? Not that I need you to relive the, uh, the experience. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. I felt like when my parents accidentally left me overnight in that toy store. I know, and I'm not even saying it was, like, all bad, actually. It was good to see you, kinda, out there just letting loose, you know, in a weird way. Trying something new. Ah, so this is really about me staying in town after school. Hey, I haven't said anything about you staying... Oh, please. Trying something new is what you're doing by moving, right? I'm sorry that my mom needs help, okay, Lola? I'm like her emotional support parent. My dad remarried in three months, and she's all alone with nothing but her store. You were too scared to talk to Eliza and let me go after Greg after whining to me for years about not chatting up girls at school. You go back and forth, back and forth. It's just, you know, it's hard to know what target you're aiming at next. What are you? Are you really bringing up that drunk girl from the bachelor party? That was like two hours ago. Is this, is this a wormhorn thing? Like, what the hell is going on with you right now? Nothing's going on, just forget it. My shoes are finally starting to give way. I think it's just, it, that's all. Never mind. Well, we'll walk a little slower then. Cripes. Lola's mad at him for choosing to stay, um, and she's moving. She's just mad that they're not going to see each other anymore. They're such great friends. It's crazy that they never dated or even pity screwed, but... <laughs> okay, wow. Obviously, the scheme's humor is rubbing off on me. Anyways... That'll be it for this episode. From this point forward, everything is new to me. In fact, I think I actually went a little bit further than I did last time because that uh, that last little tidbit right there was pretty new to me as well. In the beginning of the next episode, we'll take a look at the achievements that I earned uh, the first time I went through these, these last three, the stuff that you didn't see, and then we'll continue on with stuff that'll be brand new for you and me. 
So let me know what you thought of this episode and the game so far in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a like. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you possibly in another day, definitely in another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye. Uh -huh.